trying not to overheat. This is the water heater. <laughs> Pun. Main water shut off valve. This keeps hanging on the handle. Very interesting. Leave you open so I can make comment. Call 911. Grampy's on the roof. No, he's not. He's in the garage again. I'm going to pull down an attic access ladder and I'd just like to say that through the years, and I've been doing this for some, but the ladder is a target rich, target rich environment. <clears throat> and I've been writing ladders up for a long, long time, every one of them. Well, this camera feels like it's getting warm. I don't know when I'm going to lose you. But we're in the attic. And within a I guess a reasonable, what we're seeing here is um, radiant panel decking. Uh, loose filling, um, we got um, truss framing. Loose fill fiberglass, about 14 inches of loose fill insulation. You know what I'm not seeing right there? Soffit baffles. Okay. Fish around here for a flashlight. No soffit baffles. There's the wall right there. So insulation can fall down and clog the ventilation. Also, air is going to take the path of least resistance. These baffles, these corrugated cartons, they direct the air up over the insulation. The air gets drug across this. That's called wind washing. Okay, when the wind drags the minerals, the dust, minerals in dust, minerals are conductive, mineral conductive mineral dust compromises the insulating qualities of the insulation. That's why that's why we want the baffles like that. Right, let's kind of move through here a little bit. Missing baffles. Look at all that daylight. Look. Missing baffles, missing baffles. You're supposed to have when you have continuous soffit baffles, you're supposed to have Continuous, I mean, excuse me, when you have continuous soffit vents, you're supposed to have continuous soffit vent baffles. We don't have that. Look at that. This attic's pretty hot. It's 110 outside. Our luminaries, I saw another one over there, they do not have protective cages on them. Coming on up, coming on up. And we got the ridge vent and the exhaust vent right there. It's for real. We have that. These are going to get clogged, all right, and then this ridge vent is going to suck the air out of those air exhaust, vent, passive air exhaust baffles. It's going to ventilate the top third of the attic, and we're going to just all, down here, we're all left to cook. We are all left to cook. Check that out. Let me see if I can get around here a little more. Okay, why are these struts raising up? Why is that? Why are they not making? We're supposed to have a continuous load path. That's not a continuous load path. That's pretty interesting. I am going to, this is a plea to the builder. This is my personal request. Since I have not seen this before, please explain it to me. I want to hear it. And there's our framing gusset that's peeling apart right there. No, it's not supposed to peel apart like that. So that framing gusset's failing. That plate, that nailing plate. Framing plate. Framing plate, nailing gusset. <laughs> Whatever it is, I think everybody knows what I'm talking about here. Mr. Technological Explanation, okay. All right. So what do we learn? We learned that we got short-circuiting attic exhaust ventilation. We learned that we do not have a continuous load path between some of these cords, okay, from our, our um, rafters. Our rafters are not continuous. That's what we learned. 
We learned that we got 14 inches of loose fill insulation. We learned that we got a loose nailing plate somewhere. I lost it. How am I going to take a picture of it if I lost a loose nailing plate? And we learned, look at all that daylight. We learned that we're missing a lot of soffit baffles. Now when they come in here and they put the soffit baffles in for you, because they need to. That's what needs to happen. That needs to be corrected. That needs to be corrected. We need continuous soffit baffles. When they do that, when they're finished, your insulation is supposed to look like a fresh snow. They're going to hire just 